my hair is a mess right now. Like, it is wild. Wild. Hey guys, it's Fran. Welcome back to my channel. So, in today's video, I am going to be doing a makeup haul. I haven't done one of these videos in such a long time. It's been a hot minute. I was out of a lot of stuff, so that was the reason why I went for it. And there's a lot of things in here that I probably didn't need to buy, but I did anyways. I was like, I need that, that, that. One of everything. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought I would share with you guys. If you guys like haul videos, definitely like this video and don't forget to subscribe so you guys do not miss on any other future videos. But if you guys want to see what I got, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so um, it's kind of like not that much, but I thought I would share with you guys anyways. Okay, let's just like dive right in. So the first thing is the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. This is the Super Lotus Night Recovery. So let's just like take this out of the box and show you because I feel like the packaging is way better looking than the actual box. So, um, a couple weeks back when I actually went to Sephora last, I think, or maybe a couple months ago, I really don't remember, but when I went, they gave me a sample of this, and oh my god, it made my skin feel so good. I love the way it smells. It just, like, smells, like, fresh, obviously, hence the name. Um, it just feels, like, so nice on my skin. It feels, like, I feel so, like, hydrated. It just, like, really feels good when I wake up in the morning and I my skin just feels really good so like what it's supposed to do is it's using cutting edge extraction technology that harnesses the natural power of the whole living lotus plant works overnight to help reduce signs of daily skin stress and fatigue for a youthful rested radiant look so we always need that because i'm always looking tired like my dark circles hello we see you but yeah it does give a little bit of a radiant look um you definitely only want to use this at night because it is a little bit of a heavier like cream it, because you don't want to put it on in the morning before you put on your makeup. It might make your skin just feel a little bit heavy because you always want like a heavier like night cream before you go to bed because then it will definitely see definitely soak in and really do what it's supposed to do and keep you moisturized all night long and I feel like this might be a little bit too heavy for like a daily use. You want more of like a daily moisturizer that isn't as heavy, like maybe like a water-based moisturizer for during the day. So the next thing is the Makeup Forever Artist Face Color Sculpting Powder. This is in the color S116. So this was like the main reason why I actually went to Sephora today because I was out of it. I had like this much left. I was like, okay, I definitely need to go to Sephora and pick that up because I need it. There's no way of me like going to be able to contour my face with this much powder left. It's just not gonna happen. Um, it's just like, I've just been trying to save up my money as much as possible. Um, it's just like, I spend way too much money on makeup, so I've been trying to just like save up and not spend it on stupid stuff, but I really needed this and then Obviously, I really needed all this, I guess. My mind was like, okay, I need it. Um, but yeah, this is like one of my favorite um, sculpting powders ever I've ever found, like over the last couple years, because I'm pretty fair and it's been so hard to find like the perfect contouring powder. So it really just depends on the brand or the powder. Um, it sometimes some will look really orange on me and I'll look like a fucking Oompa Loompa or I'll look or I'll be way too dark for my skin and it'll, it'll look super muddy so with the Kat Von D I hated it it was like one of the worst palettes I've ever had or tried it looked and I used the lightest shade in that palette and it looked muddy as hell it looked like almost black that's how dark it was and I was using the lightest shade so I was like very confused it's not like I wasn't like blending it out like I would just dip into it once and it would be like dark so this is like one of my favorites ever and I feel like I won't ever switch over and then what's really nice about this the thing it comes in it's like a little small little palette um, you buy that separately and then you buy the shade separately but then once you run out of the shade you can pop it in and out and 
just keep replacing the shade so you don't have to buy like the palette itself so that's really nice um and yeah and it's small enough so it's super easy for travel um so you don't have to carry around a huge ass palette that's one thing i like about this because it's very small and easy for travel okay the next thing is i probably really didn't need this but um i when i was like waiting to check out i saw this it's the invisibobble scrunchie it's so freaking cute i've been wanting a scrunchie for the longest time it's super stretchy i love the color of it it's super cute i've been loving that those like I've been loving those hairstyles lately with people just having their scrunchie in their hair. Like, I think that's so cute. Okay, this isn't like the best like way to show you. Like, I literally look like someone in high school. Um, but yeah, I just like, like it. It looks super cute. All right, the next thing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil. This is in the color Dark Brown. This is like my all time favorite brow pencil. And this is what I use like every single day on my brows. I never switched over to anything else. I just feel like this really has worked well on my brows. Before I used to use the Anastasia Brow Pomade and I liked it for a while but I felt like it was hard to use. Um, it kind of made my brows looking kind of wet looking or greasy and if I did start to sweat because I get very oily in the t-zone I feel like the inner part of my brows would start looking even more greasy or wet and they would kind of like wipe off and I just didn't like that and I don't know this is like this has worked well for me then the next thing is I got some eyelashes I got the lily lashes um, these are in the style Barcelona these are like one of my favorite eyelashes ever. They are way better than like the drugstore eyelashes. I feel like these last like way longer than them. If you do take care of them, they will last a while. And they are very like dramatic. They're very fluffy. I love the style of these. I, I used to use the style Miami, but I don't know. I kind of wanted to switch over and try like a newer one newer style and I really like these this is gonna look really good with some like dramatic like eyeshadow so that's kind of like why I bought these and lately I've just kind of been wanting some eyelashes like maybe if I'm too lazy to put mascara on maybe pop some on and call it a day um but yeah these are super cute and then the Next thing I got is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. So this is in the color 190. Um, hopefully this is the right shade. So I've already had this. I've already tried this foundation in the past, but this was when I was like way lighter because um, I've gotten slight tan, <laughs> slight, not like a dramatic tan like I was like a way, way paler before I feel like um so hopefully this is like the right shade it's so hard to match in store because the lighting is so weird in there and then when you walk out and you look on your arm you're like damn that's orange so let's hope this matches <laughs> um I don't know um this is like one of my favorite foundations I feel like this works so well um I always get good results with it and I feel like it's a good foundation. All right, and then the last thing is the Milk Makeup Foundation Stick. This is in the color Light Medium. So hopefully this is the right color as well because it was very hard to find my color in this as well. It was just, it was just hard because, you know, the lighting in there is weird. I love the packaging of this. It's so sleek. So this is supposed to be like a medium coverage. Um, it's natural finished foundation that covers, calms, and flexes without creasing or caking. And that is always a must. Then you just like twist it up like this. You can twist it up or down. So that's really nice because with most stick foundations, you can twist it up. But then once it's twisted up, you can't twist it down. But yeah, I really hope this is like the right color because... That's gonna be a problem if it isn't, but we can always return it if it doesn't work. Guys, that was everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this like small little haul. I know it wasn't a lot, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, if you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys would like to see more hauls from me. Definitely comment down below so I can definitely do that for you guys, but I will see you guys in my next video.